Welcome back. Today is wedding day. And because, um, you know, Raven and, and Lincoln are getting kind of older, so I'm going to have them try for a baby right now. We aren't going to take a pregnancy test or anything until after the wedding so that she's not showing. But I wanted to get a jump start on that so that the baby was born soon because we do not have a lot of time here before, you know, everybody's all grown up and everything. I mean, definitely. They are not going to live to see this child make it to young adulthood, but, you know, we're just going to do the best we can. Maybe um, the child will have to be taken care of by somebody else in the meantime. But for right now, we are not going to worry about that. We also have the two kids, Leanne and Malachi. Uh, Malachi is still a child. Leanne is now a teenager, but we are getting ready for the wedding. So we are going to do that. And here we are. We're also going to include the family club because then we can kind of control the Sims and force them all to come over here, force them all to sit down so that they will watch the wedding. So I click sit together and then see how they get into the seats. So that's good. And then we are going to start the wedding and I'm like, come on people, get into your positions here. But then, I mean, Bellamy, Bellamy just stands there. <laughs> He just stands there in the middle of the aisle. Um, oh, well. So they are getting married. Something went wrong with the wedding. An exception was caught. It, like, skipped the entire ceremony. So I'm going to have them renew their vows in order to get the main goal of get married to be completed, which is kind of annoying, but it's okay. They're going to renew their vows immediately upon getting married. And then we are just going to do a few of these other things, like... Uh, Except now they can't cut the cake because the cake is only, you can only take the first slice for a wedding and now it's no longer, it's just a vow renewal. So that's uh, unfortunate. So we're going to have to remove the wedding topper in order to have the cake, but uh, she has to go to the bathroom and we are going to eat cake together because everybody's hungry and the um, chef is not doing a great job. They made the cake, but then they just made, um, they were halfway through making some pancakes and just stopped and gave up on being the chef. So that is a bit of a bummer because everyone was really hungry and um, is still hungry. And of course, now that Raven is pregnant, she's going to get hungry faster. So she's going to be hungry again by the time this event is over. We still have quite some time left in the event, but... Uh, they did get to gold already, so I'm not really too worried about doing the actual event items. So I have Raven take the pregnancy test, and she is going over here to tell Lincoln all about it. She says we're having a baby. They are very excited. Having a baby was something that they had talked about, and they know that they're getting a little older, but they wanted to have one more child, um, you know, get a nice family of five going. So I am then going to have her finish the pancakes because, I mean, the chef is not doing their job. So she finishes the pancakes and then everyone is going to grab something to eat again. So she is going to eat some pancakes. Also, he is going to eat some pancakes. I mean, they look good. That is quite the stack of pancakes. Um, but anyway, he comes all the way upstairs to eat. So that's interesting. I don't actually ever go on the second floor of this venue but anyway we are headed home now and everyone is pretty tired from the long day that they had and I'm pretty sure that does she have work tomorrow I think she might have work tomorrow so you know she has to get in her sleep and the kids are starting to get hungry because they didn't eat any pancakes so I'm just going to run around and take care of some needs and then send them all to bed. So she's going to eat and then go to bed. He is going to bed and we will skip ahead to when everyone wakes up. And actually Raven is the first one up because she has to use the bathroom. And I don't know why she didn't just use the bathroom while she was in there. I don't know what happened there. But anyway, so now she's going to eat um, and then use the bathroom. And she also wants to get her fun up. So we will have her work out a little bit. And he needs to get a shower. So everyone is just going, you know, up in the morning. It is very early in the morning. But um, they are all going to start getting ready for the day. He's going to watch some TV. She doesn't really feel very good. Like, 
pregnancy wise she has some morning sickness so she is also stuck why is she stuck okay so she's going to use the bathroom and also throw up because she doesn't feel very good and she'll feel better if she does that but since she's so uncomfortable she can't get on the treadmill so we are going to there we go wait until that was taken care of now of course the sink is broken and the toilet's dirty so we are going to feed Lincoln and then have him kind of clean up after his new wife like she's left a total disaster in the bathroom but uh, she is exercising now and the kids are are ready to get up as well so the bathroom down here was originally just for the gym but now that the kids rooms are in the basement it is also kind of their bathroom so like usually you know if you're sleeping in the basement you're going to use the bathroom in the basement to like get ready and stuff because your bedroom's right there to get ready in so that is what i'm going with there and i need him to cook something because we are running really low on leftovers in the fridge so he is going to do that and she's really excited about being pregnant being married I mean, her single and loving it lifestyle is in jeopardy. I'm surprised it hasn't gone away already. I really think that it should be shorter. Like, she's been dating. She's like, even she was dating what's-his-name for a long time. So I'm surprised that that didn't um, go away. Anyway, so she's level 10 doctor now. So it's not like she really needs to work too hard here. We're just going to continue to work towards golds and not really worry about anything else. But look, here comes a pregnant Sim having a baby. And it's actually really fun because she's pregnant too. So it's like, you know, this is going to be her soon. Having the baby at the hospital. And I don't know. I just think that it's nice. Like some camaraderie among pregnant women. <laughs> so um, she is doing that. And then she's going to log her analysis results. But um, she also, you know, has her needs that she needs to work on. And we have barely done anything here today. So that is also a bummer. But she is going to come and swab another child and, um, you know, do the sample. I was going to have her calibrate the x ray machine earlier, but she wasn't successful, I suppose. So we are going to continue to run tests on this child in order to find a diagnosis. Looks like she has a headache, so uh, we are going to go with floaty head and then log our results and then treat her. So that is pretty much going to wrap up the work day. Um, I think that, you know, it's nice and low stakes now here at the doctor's um, now that she's level 10. She is, I think she's the chief of staff. I think that's the title. But she is just going to grab something to eat and head home. So here we are back at the house. She's tired. Her fun is low. But we all know how to get fun up really quickly. And also, I mean, I'm just happy that she's got someone like here available all the time to get her fun up. <laughs> but um, also, I think that she's really happy. I think that this is what she wanted. You know, she wanted the career, she wanted that life, but she also wanted the family, and she's really gotten that, and uh, Lincoln and Leanne have been an excellent addition to the family, and um, I'm really happy about that. We are going to invite over the family club as well. Um, his needs are great, and it's his birthday, so we are going to age him up. He is now an elder. I mean, he's an elder, and he's about to have a baby. This is, well, um we might need to keep the baby like with Leanne or something I'm not really sure we'll see what happens but um, I don't think that I mean I'm worried even about it becoming a teen how long does it take to get to teen three baby days seven toddler days and then what like 12 child days I forget how many child days there are oh yeah there's no way I mean even for Raven, she's halfway through her adulthood. I think she's like a week left. So that would only get us like three days before the end of the toddler phase. And I mean, the baby's not even born. Like the baby does not exist yet. So there's still the pregnancy duration as well. Okay, so we are going to have to make sure we keep an adult in this household so that the child doesn't go up for adoption. But in the meantime, everyone's asleep again. 
So we are going to speed up until they get up. So that'll go pretty quickly. Here we go, everyone's awake and um, everyone is hungry. So they are going to grab some food. Um, I am happy that most of them are eating at the table together. I wish Raven would eat at the table with them as well. But you know, what are you gonna do? Big sigh. Um, I don't know if you can hear in my microphone the times that I like make these big sigh breaths, but uh, they're there. So um, then we are going to, since everybody kind of has a day off today, we are going to go to the bowling alley and have some fun. So I thought that that would be a good family activity. So we are going to head to the bowling alley um, that I made over here. And here we are. So uh, she's also pregnant she's in her second trimester now I think and look moonlight bowling I love that that is so fun so um, they are here and I'm going to start a gathering as well actually the gathering automatically started when they traveled and I've noticed that I think it's a bug I've noticed that in the past but um, so when I went to go start the gathering, I accidentally ended the gathering and then had to restart anyway. So um, the three of them are bowling together because Raven cannot bowl while pregnant, which is that a real thing? Like, can you not go bowling while you're pregnant? I mean, actually, you know what? Maybe it is dangerous because your center of gravity is all messed up. Anyway, so um, they are bowling. Raven is getting some food at the bar, but Leanne is starting to have to go to the bathroom and Malachi is starting to get tired. And um, the bartender has abandoned his post, so there is that. But everyone seems to be dancing and enjoying themselves, so I'm glad about that. Um, both Vincent and Ariana are still children over there. We are waiting until they become teens to add them to the family tree. And also, look, Bellamy in his mascot costume has decided that he is going to be the one to man the bar. <laughs> so he actually just made his wife a drink. Isn't that cute? Okay, maybe he didn't. Maybe that was already there. But that's what we're going to go with. And what else? The kids' needs are starting to get really low. So I think we are going to wrap this little excursion up. And also, what I'm going to do, because um, I want to send the family on a vacation soon. Like tomorrow. And... You, I don't think you can do that while, she, while she's pregnant. So um, I think I'm going to have to force the baby to be born in this part so that in the next part the family can go on vacation together. Also, like you can't have um, birthday, like for a sim left behind, you can't have a birthday for them or, and you can't give birth while you're on vacation is my understanding is you'll just be perpetually in labor until you get home. So that would stink. So we are going to prevent that from happening. Plus it would mean that the baby is born even later and we already don't have time for this. So we are going to say that the baby is premature and is born a few hours early, probably like not even 12 hours early, but um, that's what we're going with. So that is what's happening in this family. They are all working on their needs. They were all hungry. Somebody tried to clean up the plates and failed, as per usual. And um, it's New Year's Eve, and we are sending Lincoln to work, and we are inducing labor. One of the many things I love about MCCC. So we are here, and she is now going to go to the hospital by herself, actually. We don't need to go to the hospital with her again. And so we will stay home with the kids and check on the money trees because I've been neglecting them. And it's a boy. And we have named him Eric. So welcome to the world, Eric. And um, that is going to wrap up this part. So she's got the new baby. Everyone's very excited. And, you know, the rest of their family has come together and they're not going to have any more. I mean, they really just can't. They don't have time. So um, that is what is going on here. And we will now wrap up with some screenshots of the wedding. So that was really fun. Um, I think that it turned out very lovely. And here's where she told him that she was pregnant and then her at work. So we are actually really starting to close in on, you know, 
Malachi's teenage years. So we'll probably have his birthday coming up within the next part or two. So that's really exciting too. And I will see you guys then and catch you next time.